Scientists need to address this message immediately. Something terrible is going on. Most individuals are unaware that there is a weak point in Earth's magnetic field over South America and the Southern Atlantic Ocean. On the surface, we're secure from every impact, but our satellites are not quite so fortunate. When they fly through this magnetic anomaly, they get hit with more rays than any other part of the orbit. There are reasons to think that this hole in the magnetic field called the South Atlantic Anomaly will continue to expand. This is by no means the only strange thing about the Earth's magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field has switched north and south hundreds of times in history. This is called a planetary flip-flop. The magnetic north pole of Earth keeps moving around the Arctic in a crazy dance. Researchers have also discovered vibration in the Earth's magnetic field. These are called geomagnetic jerks, and they can mess up our navigation. Still, it's hard to know what these changes will be. Just like weather forecasts, you can predict the evolution of the core beyond a few decades, said Julian Aubert, a researcher at the Paris Institute of Earth Physics. But researchers want to understand what will happen to Earth's magnetic field in the coming years. Without a magnetic field, spacecraft could get misplaced, and equipment that uses magnetic models to help them find their way could go awry. We can't wait to find out what's going on. The magnetic field keeps away hazardous radiation from the sun from getting into Earth's atmosphere. Researchers have found out that the sun can release solar flares, events that can be even harsher than we thought. Realizing how strong our magnetic field is and how it changes is important if we want to know how dangerous the next big solar storm might be. The planet's core controls the magnetic field, which is extremely hot center of our planet and burns as warm as the sun's surface. Molten metals constantly move around in the center, while warmer plumes of lighter material emerge outward. The Earth has a tiny, rigid central chamber that has been getting bigger as it has cooled. Albert Einstein didn't believe in the geodynamo because its math is hard to understand. Planet shape makes it possible for a magnetic field to be active. Our planet's electric generator is powered by the continual need of a center to cool itself, which causes convection through some kind of procedure known as the geodynamo. The generator makes a magnetic field that keeps itself going. When Walter M. Elsasser, one of the people who came up with the idea, told Albert Einstein about it, Einstein didn't believe it because math is so complicated. The geodynamo works since this fluid core's natural convection pushes metals through a weak magnetic field, which starts an electric current. Because electricity and magnetism work together, the current makes a second magnetic field, and the cycle begins again. For the majority of Earth's history, this process has kept going on its own. Although the core is thousands of kilometers below us, the magnetic field it makes reaches far into space and protects the planet like a shield. And yet, our planet's defenses aren't perfect, and sometimes the results are unfortunate. A crack in the Earth's shell on a particular day in early spring 2016, a group of Japanese engineers witnessed their prized satellite spiral out of control. The people who made Hitomi, a satellite launched five weeks ago, wanted it to look at black holes, galaxy clusters, and other high-energy things. The satellite even contained a prized X-ray measurement device, a remarkable engineering achievement from the past 30 years. But a sequence of events started when Hitomi saw the South Atlantic anomaly, which means she was going to die. As the satellite went through the oddity, the system that governed its direction went wrong as it turned to examine a new star cluster. The move caused a chain of software bugs that sent Hitomi rotating around in circles. Soon, the satellite fell apart into 11 parts. Richard Majatsky, an astronomer at the University of Maryland in College Park, told Nature at the time, it's a scientific tragedy. The South Atlantic anomaly has also taken down other spacecraft. In the anomaly, the magnetic field is only half as powerful at the height of several satellites as it is somewhere else. And the weaker field doesn't keep radiation away as well. Since the field is weaker at the anomaly, the inner Van Allen radiation belt, a donut-shaped disk of radiation around Earth that entrap high-energy particles, is very close to the surface. Any satellite in a relatively close orbit, a common height for satellites that look 
at Earth must pass through the anomaly. The Hubble Space Telescope spends 15% of its time in that area, and its light-sensitive cameras are often turned off to protect them. Some instruments like NASA's Ionospheric Connection Explorer turn off electrical parts of an ultraviolet photon detector each time they travel through. When the International Space Station was first built, the anomaly would cause astronauts' computer systems to crash. But it is just bad luck for a satellite. Ashley Greeley, a postdoctoral scholar at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, remembered a CubeSat that died soon after it was launched. During the beginning checks and commissioning phase, we think an energetic particle hit it in the wrong place at the wrong time. And we never got any data, she said. A growing anomaly. In 1958, scientists found a South Atlantic anomaly when satellites were first used to measure radiation in space. The area is a big part of most models, said Taryn Sabaka of NASA. Its size, shape, and strength are pretty much the same for everyone. Even though we don't know for sure, there is proof that the anomaly has really been present since the early 1800s or even before. The true debate is about what will happen next with the anomaly. The dent could be splitting or have a new weak spot chomping into it. Greeley first looked at the strange thing while working on her PhD. She looked at 20 years of satellite data to figure out how big the strange thing was each time the solar anomalous and magnetospheric particle explorer went by. She said that satellites in low Earth orbit pass through the area about once a week and that the trip takes a few minutes. Greeley discovered that the South Atlantic anomaly moves west about one degree longitude every five year and slightly north, but not much. She said that in the end, most of it will be over land. The anomaly will hit Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, and Paraguay, right in the middle. NASA researcher Wei Jia Kuang and the University of Maryland, Baltimore County professor Andrew Tangborn predicted that the anomaly is not only moving west, but also getting bigger. In five years, the region under a field intensity of 24,000 nanoteslas will expand by almost 10% compared to what it is now. Kuang also said that the dent could be splitting or another weak point could be coming out and biting into it. Even though the dent is expected to get bigger in the next five years, Kuang said it's inconceivable to tell what will happen after that. Fluid movement in the planet's core is so chaotic that a small change could set off a chain of events that we can't predict. As time goes on, there are more and more situations that can't be stopped. Although the coming years are hard to predict, Kuang said that studying the anomaly gives us a very good window into not only the core dynamics, but also the regional properties of this area. Kuang said that the strange thing couldn't harm life on the surface, but if it keeps getting weaker over time, this could hurt us in the long run. The hole in our field would let high energy particles into our atmosphere, which could mess up our power grids and slowly eat at the gases that safeguard us. And that brings us to the end of this video. Feel free to let us know what you think about this video. And if you like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.